Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of the economic, Women's Economic Agenda and to acknowledge Women's History Month. Women's History Month is a time when we pause to recognize the extraordinary contributions that women have made throughout our nation's history. As a husband to my wife, Nancy, a leader in health care for women, the proud father of two accomplished daughters, and the grandfather of three girls with so much promise, I am absolutely committed to making our country full range of opportunity available and reality for all of America's daughters. That's why I introduced earlier this month the Women's Economic Bill of Rights. Because all women have a right to equal pay. All women have a right to fair treatment in the workplace and to economic and retirement security. The Women's Economic Bill of Rights is about standing up in Congress to make sure that we strengthen our commitment to advancing women's economic security for current and future generations. I encourage all of my colleagues to join me in co-sponsoring this resolution because we know that when women succeed, America succeeds.